So one of my favorite things to do other than making these YouTube videos and practicing medicine is to travel the world. And I'm a really big firm believer that the things you carry with you on your trip here and there can really make the difference and can really enhance your holiday or travel trip. What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a doctor working in London. And in this video, I'll be taking you guys through all of the different items that I always carry with me whenever I travel that have really made a difference when it comes to traveling. And best of all, all of the things that I'll be telling you guys about are all on a student budget so they really shouldn't cost you more than 50 pounds and of course if you want to check out any of these items i'll be linking them down below in the description but let's go ahead and talk about the first item which of course is a travel adapter which is what i have with me as you guys know if you travel this is an absolute must whenever you're traveling to a different country it's always good to have a plug that matches the local power supply now the reasons why i like this one in particular is firstly of course it has all of the countries you need like the uk the eu and the usa there's not a single country that i've been to that this thing here does not cover but most most importantly, what is really unique about this compared to the other ones I've used in my past is that it has a type C port on the left side, which is so key. And also on the bottom, there are four USB ports. Now, I don't think this gives the highest number of watts. I imagine it's probably maybe 20 watts max between the USB C and USB A. However, if you are going to bed and you want to just charge your phone without having an extra, you know, sort of um, plug, then it's really good to have these extra ports. And also, if you just want to power something that doesn't require a lot of power, then this is really, really nice to have it also comes with one of these charging cases which is great and this all in all has been the best one that i can afford on a student budget however if you do have more money and you want to spend more money they definitely have versions of this that are more than maybe 65 watts so you can actually charge your laptop or your phone just using this adapter in particular i don't have that myself i will be upgrading to that soon but i'll also link that down below in the description for you guys to check out next up which i use on a daily basis and not just when i'm traveling but it's definitely the most important to carry when you're traveling is one of these anchor wireless chargers. The reason why I like this is because it actually slaps on the back of my phone, of my iPhone via MagSafe. So if I'm low on juice, I literally just have to pull it out, slap onto the back of my phone, and straight away, I probably have one to two chargers left on this device. It also has a USB type C port on the bottom. So if you do wanna charge other devices that are not phone, you can definitely do that using a USB-C cable. What's really great as well is once you actually get to the hotel room, if this is low on battery and your phone is low on battery as well, you can literally slap it onto the back of your iPhone phone and you can charge this device this charger as well as your iphone so that when you next go to leave the room you have this fully charged as well as your iphone fully charged as well next on my list is this travel tech pack and this is super essential to have i don't just use it whenever i'm traveling but i also use it on a daily basis i always have it in my backpack the reason why i like having it is because whenever you travel you want to make sure that you have uh, loads of cables so i have a type c cable in here i have a micro usb cable in here i have a pen i have loads of different things in here and it's just a nice way to keep all of your tech essentials also things like any bandages you need or any medicine I keep down below here in the bottom compartment which is super useful to have and that moves us on to the next thing inside my travel tech pack which is a 65 watt charger this is one of the most key things that I've probably bought in the last year it's a 65 watt charger of course you can buy something that has a high wattage but 65 watts is more than enough for me with this I'm able to charge my laptop not a full power like the normal MacBook Pro charger that normally comes with a laptop however I am able to charge my laptop and the rest of my essentials at a pretty good rate it also has a type c charger on here as well as usb a charger as well now the downside to this is that it's only 65 watts so if you're charging something via micro usb and usb a it's not full power it will divide the 65 watts between each of these ports so if power is something that's super essential to you and i would probably go for a 100 watt charger that obviously goes up in price but if you're a student to be honest with you and you just need to get about and charge one device at a time this anchor or rav power sorry 65 watt charger will definitely do enough to juice up your items whenever you need them. By the way, if you guys have made it this far in the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my weekly email newsletter. All of these things that I've mentioned to you guys have all been mentioned previously in my weekly newsletters. I always mention things like life productivity tips or some life hacks that I found or just really interesting and enjoyable products that I find on a weekly basis. So you can subscribe for free down below and you can feel free to subscribe whenever you want. But I would really appreciate it if you guys join the weekly email newsletter to get all of these items and everything else in my life exclusively before they come out on video. Next on my list is my travel backpack and being completely honest with you guys this was actually sent out to me completely for free however with no assumption or no requirements to share it with my audience i just ended up really enjoying this backpack for a few reasons the first reason is that it's really lightweight whenever i have it on my bag with my laptop hidden and a few essentials it really is a lot lighter than the old backpacks that i've used previously the second reason that i really like it is that it's actually very minimalistic so when i'm wearing it with whatever i'm wearing whether it's track suits for traveling or it's something really formal it's really minimalistic and works with all of the outfits that i bring 
around with me whenever I'm traveling. Thirdly, and most importantly, it actually opens up completely like a suitcase. So unlike other backpacks, I'm sure if you guys have traveled before, you know that if you're just traveling with a backpack and you have shorts at the bottom of your bag, right at the bottom, it's super annoying to have to take everything out of your bag before just reaching down and grabbing what you actually need and want. Now, I really love this because it opens up completely. So if I need to grab anything, it's, you know, instant. I don't have to go to the bottom of my bag, you know, trying to push everything aside. It's super, super convenient just to be able to open it up completely. Now, the third reason that I really like this backpack, particularly whenever I'm traveling, is that it's actually small enough to sit underneath the chair in front of you on a plane. Now, this is really important because whenever you're taking a small trip to another European country, you don't want to have to pay for another suitcase to bring on board. If you're just going to be there for a weekend, this is super essential because I've actually been stopped many, many times before in an airport because my backpack is too big and can't actually fit below the seat in front of me. So this is the perfect size to take with you, whether you're traveling on a plane or just going by car. It's nice, compact, and isn't too big or bulky. If you guys want to check out this Menos backpack, then I've actually been able to get a 10% discount for any of you guys to check this out. And if you use my 10% code, it actually comes down to around about 60 pounds for this lovely backpack, which I think is a super, you know, reasonable price to pay for such a nice backpack. So go ahead and click the link down below if you want to check out this backpack for yourself. Now, I never thought such a small item can really make such a big difference in my life whenever I'm traveling. And this is this Ugreen phone slash tablet stand. I actually love this so much that I bought two. I have one in my backpack that I carry with me at all times whenever I'm at work or just moving about. And I also have one that I keep at home. So whenever I'm washing the dishes or just walking around my house, I can literally just have my iPhone up while I'm watching videos. It's super nice. It's super clean. It's really small as well, actually. And it folds up to a very small sort of uh, form factor, which means you can actually put it in your pocket or in a small, you know, side bag if you want to. If you're on a long flight and you think all the movies on the plane are rubbish, which has happened to me so many times, and you have a bunch of movies downloaded on your iPad or your phone on Netflix, it's much easier just to be able to have it nicely on a stand. And you're not trying to like awkwardly balance your phone on the backrest of someone else's chair. And when they move back and move their chair backwards, you actually, you know, have your phone falling off to the side. Trust me on this, guys. It's about 10 pounds. And if I were you, I'd buy at least two, bring it with you to work, bring it with you wherever you go and have one as well whenever you travel. And I promise you, it'll make your experience of watching YouTube videos and Netflix shows much, much better. Trust me on that one. And also, if you guys wouldn't mind taking two seconds out of your day to leave a like down below, it really helps the channel grow and reach more people. Next up on my list is a really small and also quite a weird item to have, but this is the B-Way Carabiner that I actually use. I actually bought three of these because of how useful they are. Whenever I'm traveling, I love having these attached to my backpack. So for example, if I'm waiting in line for a flight and I want to have my hands you know, completely free because I'll be using my passport and my phone, being able to just hang things off of my backpack, like maybe some shopping I bought or my water bottle has been super essential. I also carry one of these on one of my small backpacks. So, you know, my side, you know, roadman backpacks. I also have one on there. Again, whenever I'm going hiking and just being able to keep my hands free and have a water bottle on there is super essential. And I also have one with me for my work bag. So sometimes again, I have stuff in my hand and I can't carry everything. So being able to latch on my lunchbox to my actual backpack is super essential. And I promise you having a few of these will really make a difference in these random situations that you won't actually expect. It costs about maybe, I don't know, two pounds per carabiner and really have made a huge difference whenever I'm traveling and also on my day-to-day -day job as a doctor. The next essential on my list is a Monzo debit card. I actually got Monzo probably around five or six years ago when they first launched and it's been an absolute game changer, not just when traveling, but also on a day-to-day -day basis here in the UK. Now, the reason why I like Monzo is for a few reasons. The first reason is that if you're traveling around the world, you know how annoying it is to use your normal bank card. So whether it's TSB or NatWest or whatever, they always charge you an extortionate amount just to use your, you know, your card and also to withdraw money. It's super difficult. I don't understand why it is that difficult in this day and age, but Monzo actually don't charge you any transaction fees. So whenever you're abroad and you want to spend money, it literally charges you nothing. All it uses is the MasterCard currency exchange on that actual day. So that obviously changes day to day, but they use the MasterCard rate whenever converting between different currencies. So that's the first thing. The second thing is also they don't actually charge you to make any international withdrawals. So if I'm in Spain and I want to take out money in euros, I don't actually take out pounds anymore and exchange it, you know, the post office here in the UK, I just take my card with me. And when I get to my given destination, I'll actually withdraw the money in the local currency. And again, it uses the MasterCard rate, which is a really good rate normally. The last reason I really like Monzo is they have all of these different interesting features. So for example, they have this shared tab feature. So if you go out for dinner with your friends in a foreign country and you, you pay for the bill, you can actually create a tab where you can share the cost of the bill and the cost of everything you buy. And it'll do all the maths for you. So it works out who owes who, and that's super useful. And finally, the way I use Monzo actually here in the UK, is they have something called Monzo Flex, which allows you to pay for things in installments. You can pay things interest-free over three months.
three months, no matter like how big it is. And you can also choose to pay things off slowly, well, obviously pay interest, but also at a pretty good interest rate. I wouldn't suggest using the interest to actually pay for your things. However, being able to pay for things in three months with no interest and no fees is super useful. So I highly recommend you guys check out Monzo and I'll have a link down below in the description for you guys to check out Monzo. If you actually join, you'll get five pounds free into your debit card. And that's just a nice thing to have before you guys go off and travel. Next up on my list is this travel tripod that I have over here. This is super useful because whenever you're taking photos of your friends and you want to have a group photo and it's really difficult to like balance your phone off of the, the wall in front of you, it's super useful just to have this small device in your backpack. And it's come in handy so many times whenever you want to take a group photo. And also I actually have one with me on my day-to-day -day job. So sometimes I want to take a selfie whenever I'm at work for my Instagram and being able to just put this on the table in front of me and take a selfie whenever I need it is super useful. And you can also use it as a kind of selfie tripod if you're on holiday and you're doing a bit of a vlog with your partner or your friends that also comes in handy as well super useful to have a tripod this is pretty cheap and i highly recommend you guys get one so whenever you're on holiday you can get those banging group photos moving on we have this three in one charger again this is one of those things that i should have bought 10 years ago this is a three in one charger and it's able to charge my iphone my iwatch and also my airpods all at the same time and it's super handy and super useful to have it doesn't charge things at max speed so if you're in a rush in a, a hotel or a hostel and you want to just charge up your devices really quickly i wouldn't recommend using this however at the end of the day when you finish your day of traveling and you want to charge all three devices overnight then it's super useful to have because when you wake up in the morning they'll all be fully charged so being able to carry just this device on its own with the one usb-c charger is super useful so whenever i travel and i don't have a suitcase with me just my backpack rather than carrying three different cables i just bring this one thing here with one cable and it charges all of my devices very easily next up on my list is my kindle now if you guys have been watching my channel you know how essential it is uh, to have kindle you know how much i talk about how having kindle has changed my life completely now the reason i carry my kindle with me whenever i travel is because there's so many times where i'm on a beach or on a flight and i want to just read a book instantly being able to instantly access any book pretty much in the whole entire world no matter where you are is actually game changing and it blows my mind one time i was in the masai mara literally in the bushes and i had a small phone signal where i just about managed to connect to the internet and i instantly downloaded a bunch of books because i just finished one book and where the hell am i going to find a bookshop all the way in the masai mara in uh, east africa literally impossible so being able to just quickly download any book you want as well as carrying 100 books on you at all times whenever you're traveling is an absolute game changer especially if you're traveling and want to save space you don't want to carry four books in your backpack with you heavy kindle is an absolute essential i'll link it down below of course for you guys to check out the one that i have is the kindle paperwhite i believe that is really useful and if you also pair that with audible so i have audible on my phone as well sometimes i want to just listen to you know books instead maybe i'm on a hike or i'm walking being able to listen to stuff is super super uh, useful as well add my audible affiliate link down below as well for you guys to get a free book whenever you'd like let's move on to the next one now i've actually had this bluetooth speaker for probably around seven years and it still works in perfect quality this is the anchor bluetooth speaker and as i said it's just one of the best speakers that i've ever had it's super small it's super portable it sounds amazing and being able to have this with you whenever you're on holiday going on a hike with your friends is super essential it actually is very very loud so if you're at a pre-drinks and you want to just play some music then having a bluetooth speaker is super essential of course i have a speaker on my phone of course i have a speaker on my macbook and my ipad but it's not really the same thing being able to just bring this out whenever you want and just throw it in your backpack and not care about it is super important so i highly recommend you guys have one of these travel speakers on you at all times it's one of my many talents to be honest with you guys is being able to instantly knock out on a flight it doesn't matter if it's the most uncomfortable plane journey or train journey i instantly switch off and that is done by a few ways the first and main way really is by carrying one of these memory foam super soft travel pillows this literally like compresses down so nicely and it's the most comfortable one that i've ever used what's really important whenever you're traveling is to make sure that you have one that is actually thick enough to cover your entire neck so that it can fully support your neck whenever you travel i've used a bunch of travel pillows in the past which are just super tiny super small and my neck and uh, ends up like cramped in this weird position so trust me on these guys get this beautiful travel pillow and also pair that with some sleeping face mask i guess to remove all of the light whenever you travel and lastly to make my sleep amazing whenever i travel is to also have a pair of airpods or noise cancelling headphones so the ones i use are bose qc35 mark ii and being able to cut out all the lights cut out all the sound and just make my neck really comfortable is that secret thing that allows me to make any journey super comfortable and knock out instantly trust me get a travel pillow and you will not regret it so this is probably the most recent addition to my travel essential uh, list 
list. This is actually a steamer and it has absolutely changed the game. One of the most annoying things that I find whenever I'm traveling is I'll go to a hotel or be at a destination and they will not have an iron. So I end up going to dinner, like to a really nice restaurant with my friends or my partner with a crumpled up t-shirt or shirt and it looks so bad and completely ruins the look that you have on. So about two, three weeks ago, I invested in one of these steamers and I brought it with me to Egypt on my last holiday and being able to just steam down all of my shirts and all of my trousers before I go out has made such a huge difference. I can't even explain to you guys. And now whenever I travel, I always carry this with me. It's super portable, super small. All you have to do is literally just connect it to a wall and it will instantly start steaming all of your clothes and it will replace the need to whip out an iron whenever you need it in case the place you're going to doesn't have an iron and also just using it on my day to day at home. In the last month of buying it, I probably had to use my iron once only on a super you know wrinkly shirt so being able to just quickly steam all of my shirts down has absolutely changed the game for me both when traveling and also being at home as well and finally on my list of things to carry with you is this little wallet right here when i'm in the uk i'm not really the sort of person that likes to carry wallets with me the reason being is that i feel like it's too bulky too heavy but when you're traveling it's super essential to carry things like loose change carrying more cards with you and just sort of important things that you want to carry with you on a daily basis the one i use is really lovely because it has instant access to a few cards from the outside it has a space to actually keep some money and some small items and it's very small and very very thin actually and you're able to just pop that in your bag or your um, you know your pocket with you and instantly have everything you need so one of these wallets is an absolute essential in my opinion whenever you're traveling and that is pretty much all the things that i carry with me every single time whenever i've traveled i'm always on the lookout for new items to carry with me whenever i'm traveling so if you guys have any items in mind then please leave a comment down below if you guys have made it this far in the video then please drop a like down below make sure you subscribe and notifications on to never miss another upload and before you leave here are a bunch of videos on my channel that you might actually enjoy thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one